Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, OGA Outdoors. I'm Ben. Got kind of a mess behind me. I had a nice neat stack of logs. You know, they was all cut about 12, 12 feet in length, but I cut a tree down. I didn't get it on video. It didn't go quite as planned. Long story short, I tried to get cute. Instead of just cutting the tree down, I was gonna plunge cut it, bore cut it, and you know, I got a little video. I can stick a little bit of the, me cutting the trunk. It's actually the one on the bottom there. You can see it. It was about 30 plus inches at the base. I got it down, it went right where I wanted to, but it, and that's where all these limbs came from. They were all on that tree. Fell in where it was, I, I dropped it in my garden spot before I worked it up, so I was in a rush to get it out of there. So that's where all these limbs come out. I'm not gonna bore y'all with watching me work them up, but the big gist of the day is, is I've now got my pallet forks, so I'm gonna be able to buck rounds and not be bent over all the time. Also, we might even get the split fire of the 2265 out and get some of this split and get it into the woodshed. But y'all stick around, we'll see how this works out. All right, y'all, so the first few logs, I've already got a good stack of rounds here on the ground, getting difficult to walk, and I could always, you know, cut more and back the tractor up further away and keep moving this way, but that's defeating my purpose because I want to buck them right here so I can then put them on the splitter straight into the shed. Everything's gonna be cut right here. <laughs> So this is something else I do. It's not the fastest probably, but it works for me. I just use a tape measure when I'm marking my logs. I start at the biggest end, so that way my scraps usually wind up with the little sticks, smaller pieces, so I just hook it on and tape measure every, you know, it's marked off every 16 inches. Just hit it, piece of chalk, lumber crown, whatever. Well, I get to stand up and saw, but I'm still having to bend over and pick them all up. So I guess I see a new toy in my future. I always need something else, but it's pretty warm out here. You ever been had a day you're just not in the mood? I think I'm having that day.
I love pallet forks because they pick up the logs and I don't have to bend over. I love log lifts because uh, I can sit on those and take a, take a break. Pallet forks make a pretty good seat too. But anyway, I got a couple bigger logs here. I'm gonna work these up. I don't wanna get any bigger because I, I got my a little saw, my Echo CS310. I don't wanna have to get out the Shindara, the 591. So that brings up another question. I was at my uh, saw dealership a couple days ago. I actually had one of those tools in my hand that picks up the logs, you know, the sharp object hit or the handle you hit it on the end a picker room yeah one of those i didn't want to come off the 4750 to make the purchase then but right now my back wishes i would have but back to the chainsaws i got to looking they didn't have any shindawa saws in the entire store so they just had echoes and i kind of asked and they said yeah echo is no longer going to make shindawa chainsaws they still had like weed eaters and brush trimmers and stuff like that but no chainsaws so I know that when, they, when I bought the Shindawa, they told me it was the same saw as the Echo. They're all made by the same company and everything, but that's news to me. Leave me some comments if y'all know anything about that. I appreciate you watching the video. Give me a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification icon, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. But you can stick around. I'm going to cut up a few more logs if y'all want to watch.